you know, let's go with, guys, give me something. It's fun. Not lines and shapes. Give me, like, um, beach. Let's see what a beach will pull up. So let's go ahead and make a page. And so we're going to go over to elements. And I always, like, I never understood this. And then I accidentally discovered it. And I'm truly saying accidentally. My favorite thing in the entire world is tidy up. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a second here. So we're going to make this box. It's going to be this bright blue color so that we can see it. Um, obviously, like you don't want to do something in the background if you're going to be repeating this color. This is a little bit too dark. Usually you'd want to do something more muted so that people can write over top of it. If you want to use this color as like an outline color like this, then that's fine because it doesn't take up as much printer ink and it's easier to see. But if you're going to have it so that it's something that people are writing on, we wanna do something more plain. But for our intents and purposes here, I'm gonna show this to you. So we wanna do it so that each line is a color block and then a white block and then a color block and then a white block. And I'm going to show you my favorite thing in the world. This is usually kind of difficult to make sure that you're getting the spacing correct because like it's hard sometimes. And it's not just copying and pasting, I promise. Because I'm a stickler for spacing. It irks me to no end when I'm like, I see that this one, this white space here is wider than this space. Drives me bananas, absolutely bananas. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my spaces here. I'm gonna go over here to position and go to tidy up. And you couldn't really see it, but it made everything even. When you do tidy up, this is my favorite thing in the world, guys, seriously, especially if you're doing anything with graphs or bars or charts that you have to design, it's really hard to get those lines perfectly, to get them to be, you know, symmetrical and like easily distanced. So doing tidy up evens them out based off of the positioning of the top and the bottom line. Everything else in between. Here, we're going to mess this up like real bad. Throw these guys around a little bit. See what we can do. Okay, ready? It's going to tidy it back up for me. Position, tidy up. One click. I don't have to sit there with like a, uh, you know, a caliper, like measuring things. And it's done. This is my favorite thing because I'm a money blogger. So, so many of the printables that I make have these lines. It drives me batty, absolutely batty when they're not even. So now let's say we want to change this color because we just talked about how it's it's difficult color to see. You can always, if you really like this color and don't want to try to figure it out, you can always do a transparency where it's, you're making it lighter. And guys, things always print out darker than we had anticipated. It's like, this seems pretty dark. And then you print out, it's like, whoa, that's really too dark. So I usually like to go like one or two shades darker than I really, or lighter than I really think it needs to be. But for our purposes here, we're going to go with something that you can all see that I can see because I have this giant ring light and I'm like kind of blinded by it. <laughs> now we are going to go ahead and give it a box around it so that this can be something that's pretty. You can change the color of the outline. Another thing that I like about Canva is that you can change the brand colors. You can add your own. Um, I have a bazillion of them, but here's something else that's really cool is sometimes, and I, it drives me nuts, but like sometimes if you pick a photo, you know, let's go with, guys, give me something, it's fun. Not lines and shapes, give me like um, beach. Let's see what a beach will pull up. Hopefully this little hack will work as well. So now let's see, here we go. So it pulls from a photo that you've added here. So let's say I wanna use this photo as like color inspiration, okay? So for like the entire, Thing, I want to use this photo as color inspiration. And so I would go over here, I would add my photo, like literally in the middle of the page. And then you can scroll down to the photo colors that it has. And you can pull the colors straight from there. You can do replace all, you can change some of them if you want to. It's really all up to you. But this is just a really cool way of being able to like change these things to make them more customizable based on whatever the project is that you're working on. And then you just kind of draw up if you want to go back over to your color, change it to that lilac and then pull it right back. And now we have our cute little thing. <laughs> so I really love this. This is really fun. Um, so I have the paid version of Canva. I'm sure that there are some limitations that you can use with free. 
I don't know what they are. I haven't had the free version in so long. Um, plus they keep changing things. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But with the paid version, you do get all of their stock photos and the graphics and everything. So that's pretty fun. So now we have our pretty little box here. You can use this kind of page as like a note page. You, We're gonna make it a little bit smaller here. So I'm gonna duplicate this because I like this page as its own little notes page, we're gonna come back in here, spoiler alert, in just a few minutes and pop in some check boxes here. We can even bring this up a little further so that it has like a white line there. Bring this guy down and there's a white line there. There's a lot of things that you can do.